Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Concepts video. Today, I'll be teaching you how to detect players and using that to make an auto start system for your maps and mini games. So, let's get right on to it. Alright, firstly, you're going to want to make a scoreboard. This will be used to basically store all the info. So, to do this, just do slash scoreboard objectives add count dummy. You can name it whatever you want, I'm just naming it count. Now, this, this long bit of text over here is just the display name. Now the only reason you need this is to show it on the side of the screen like I did here. But I'm just doing it for the sake of the tutorial. But for whatever reason, if you want to display it, just go scoreboard objective set display sidebar and then whatever you named it. And now you'll see that it's on the side of the screen. Cool, so once you've made the scoreboard, you're going to want it to update how many people are waiting in the lobby. So firstly, you're going to want to make a command block that's on repeat and is on always active. After you've done that, type in execute store result score players and then whatever you name the scoreboard, if entity at e. Now for the t uh, for the video, I just made it detect villagers, but you'd obviously want it to detect players. So instead of Minecraft villager, you want to go type equals player. Now you're going to want to get the x and z coordinates of the center of your lobby and then the number of blocks from it. Um, so depending on how big the lobby is, just type in the number of blocks from it that you want to detect. Now as you can see, if I get a villager, um, if I put it outside, it won't go up. If I put it inside, it will detect the villager. Next, to make it detect if it reaches a certain number of players so it can auto start the game. Now the command block should be on repeat and it's always active as well. Once you've done that, just put in execute if score players and then whatever you name the scoreboard matches um, whatever number you want it to reach before it can start the game. I'm just making it say a message, but for you, you'd obviously want something to start your game, like a set block command or something. That's up to you. Now you're basically all done, but if you want it to display the waiting for players text at the bottom, then just get a compiler output from the command block, invert it, and then into another repeating command block that needs redstone. Now what this does is so if it's less than the amount to start the game, it will give a redstone output which will power the command block. And I'll put a link in the description for a custom title generator, which you can just copy and paste the command into the command block, like I did here. And that's it. I hope you found the video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.